Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Webs from Slidenerd here. In this video, we're gonna talk about Android with the help of some examples. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, so it's gonna be only examples in this video and the next. We're gonna talk about how to use intents to launch different stuff that exists inside your Android phones all the time. So for starters, we're gonna take launch map, launch market and send email. Of course, there's gonna be a lot more options that I'm gonna keep adding here. So if you go to my activity underscore main, XML for this test project which is webs intense test inside my Eclipse ADD I've already created the layout here which is nothing great pretty simple if you go to your activity underscore main dot XML there's already three buttons one two and three if you notice each button has some ID launch map launch market and of course there's button one which should be launch email or send email over here they all have an on click attribute here which is process process and the same thing process down here so in my main activity dot Java this method process is gonna be called by each of those buttons when they are clicked so inside this let's try to write code that distinguishes which button was clicked by saying new dot get ID equals equals r dot ID launch map so in each of these situations I wanna do something let's talk about the first one which is launch map now what I need to do is launch the inbuilt map application on my phone there may be one or more applications installed the user needs to have total control of which application the Android activity is going to launch so I'm going to create an intent object over here I'm going to say intent intent equals to null if you guys notice the intent object is responsible for communication in Android between two activities or any two components which belong to Android over here so the first thing that we need to do is initialize this intent object now in Android there are ways you define what you want to do for example you want to open something you want to send something you want to view something that kind of actions you define in Android so one of them is something called action view I'm gonna go down here inside my launch map I'm gonna say intent equals to new intent as you guys notice there's a string action over here that is expecting me to give some string so what string should I give over here it's gonna be Android dot content dot intent dot action underscore view over here so this is the string which defines a standard action of viewing something now as I said there's launch map over here so what we wanna do is when the user clicks on this button we're gonna launch the map with a particular coordinate but which coordinate that's the next question that you have right so we're gonna set the data I'm gonna say intent dot set data it's gonna be URI data as you guys notice a URI object over here so we're gonna say URI dot parse and we're gonna simply pass the string inside now this is a very special type of data it's latitude and longitude that we want to view over here so we use this geo over here to specify that we are gonna view something that contains geographical coordinates so latitude first which is 19.076 and the longitude which is 728777 that's all we need to do and the next thing that we need to do is simply launch I'm gonna say start activity with this given intent that I have in mind that's all I need to do so at this point if I click select over here click run at the top I'm gonna be running this on my phone however you're gonna be seeing the output here with the help of this special tool that I have installed on my computer so as you notice there's our activity that got launched when you click on launch map it's gonna start the maps application inside my system with the given coordinates 19.076 and 72.877 however there is one small problem with this piece of code if you're running this on an emulator most probably this will crash at least as it crashed for me the reason is that there may not be an appropriate application that may handle this geo coordinates that is the latitude and longitude so one of the things that you can always do is to check whether there is actually an application that can handle this URI so that can be done with something called chooser let me make that I'm gonna say intent chooser equals to null there's gonna be another intent object now instead of directly calling the intent what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say intent dot a static method create chooser the target would be my intent object 
title would be say launch maps I'm gonna assign this to chooser over here so you, you guys are probably wondering what is going on now this create chooser is like saying this that there is an intent object that wants to see the geographical coordinates however create a list from which the user can select which applications can handle these geographical coordinates and the title of that dialog box which pops up should be launch maps and then instead of starting the intent directly you say chooser over here and that's all you need to do now this is the fail proof way of doing things because even if something is not found here then your application will not crash again if you select this click run at the top it's probably gonna be the same thing again because there's just one map application inside my phone so there you go we say launch map this time and it directly launches the map application this is because there's just one application inside my phone that can deal with maps however if there were more than one then you would have a dialog that pops up and says select which activity to launch and that title of that dialog will be this launch maps that you see here don't worry when we talk about launch market I will show you that dialog in action because there I have two markets installed on my phone and that should be pretty good to show you how this chooser works over here so in this video we took a look at the simplest thing that you can do as far as launching maps is concerned with intents in the upcoming videos we're gonna talk about a lot of things SMS Bluetooth email and all the other beautiful things like camera video and stuff in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day